All right, I'm gonna show you how to make this keychain real quick. So just a refresher, click the middle scroll wheel to pan around, zoom in, scroll up and down, and control and click the scroll wheel to pan around. So we're gonna start a sketch, start a rectangle, make it three by one inches, bring up the dimension tool by hitting D on the keyboard. finish sketch and then we're going to extrude that by 0.15 inches. I'm going to start another sketch on that same face and then we're going to click on the text tool and just drag to the border of the rectangle that we made before and then type in whatever you want for your keychain your keychain to say and then I'm going to choose I think Calambria bold italic 0.68 inches height and I'm going to center that as well. I'm going to go ahead and click finish sketch on that. I'm going to deselect the previous selection and I'm going to choose the text that we just made and I'm going to extrude that by 0.05 or 0.5 millimeters. All right, gonna start another sketch on this face for the hole for the keychain. I'm gonna create a center line and then a circle, and then I want this to be tangent to the line right there. So I'm just gonna click right there. And then add another circle and then dimension these up 0.25 inches for the smaller one. And then we're gonna make the spacing between the two two other circles, 0.15 inches. Um, I think I was having some trouble with the trim tool here. If you're, if it's, if you're having these issues, um, make sure that you project. I forgot to project right here. So to do that, you're gonna click on the project tool and click on that edge and hit okay. And now you should be able to trim away those extra pieces. See, I just clicked and dragged, but you can get more accurate if you just click on it like that. All right, I'm gonna extrude those two profiles now. And instead of a distance, we're gonna click two objects and then we're gonna click on this bottom face. That'll make sure that it extrudes perfectly up to that face. All right, we're looking pretty good so far. I think I want to cut down a little bit of this extra space that we have right here. And so to do that, I'm just going to use the line tool, block off the area that I don't want anymore. This is pretty free form and you can do whatever you want with this step. So I'm going to click extrude, but make sure that for the operation, you want it to be cut. And I want it to cut through all. And if it's not facing the right direction, just click flip. All right, the edges are looking a little bit sharp now, so I'm gonna add some fillets. So I'm just gonna click on all of these edges right here. Sc click down on the scroll wheel to um, pan around. And for the value here, I think we're gonna use 0.15 inches. And that should make things nice and smooth. We're gonna add a, another smaller fillet to these few edges right here. So just make it a little bit smoother in your hands. And we're gonna do 0 0.03 inches. All right, this is looking pretty much done now. Let's save it. Save it to wherever you want, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to call this keychain underscore whatever I put on the keychain. And now one of the really important parts before we export this for our slicer, we need to change the units to millimeters. I don't know why, but Fusion 360, it only really works uh, when you export STL in millimeters. So now we're going to right click on the body and we're going to click save as mesh. And under the format, we're going to click STL unit type millimeter and then you can preview the mesh if you click on that looks all right so we're gonna hit okay and then 
now we're just going to save it to wherever you you want it to basically and change the units back to inches now if you want and then we're going to head over to Prusa Slicer now this is what it's going to look like when you first start you can choose whatever printers you have um, configure it for whatever you have most people have Creality so I'm going to just do that for an example you can see it lists all the printers uh, the Creality Ender 3 V2 is a pretty popular one so I'm going to choose that You can click next and then you can click whatever filament you're using and then just click through all that and hit finish all right now we're going to add the stl that we just created so we're going to go to wherever we save that and then we're going to hit slice now so in order to add the color change for the second part of it we're going to scroll down on this little part and go to the first layer where it shows the text and then we're going to left click to add a color change once we do that we're going to hit slice now again and that'll add the color change to our g-code and that's it i hope it turned out well for you thank you for watching